Alright, this is a Darok in the tunnel situation. These can be scary to most people, and people often waste prayer on it. And this is the only time I'll ever actually break one of my rules. Okay, first off, you look in your room to see if any of the doors next to you, any of the open doors, lead to a tunnel. Like this one does, I think. Yeah, it does. And then check and see if there's a safe spot for him. And there is, in this case. So now, first of all, I'm going to kill this. I'm still, I'm still have to get that 10 kill count. So just like this. Kill the rat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rapidly click this door. So I'm going to keep making so I can click the door. Just like this. There. There's Darok. So now he's eating me. Now quickly, as fast as you can, try not to make him run away, but get him stuck behind something like that. See, now he's stuck behind that ladder. Now I can turn on my magic. Make sure you have auto-retaliate off, otherwise the attacking skeletons can attack you. And you just like this. And see, look, I'm not using any prayer on Dara, and I have him in the tunnel, and I'm killing him. So, this works out really well. You can do this in any of the side tunnels where you can get him on, on low rocks. I'm still getting attacked, but that's bad. Stupid skeleton. But you can do that like between skeletons that don't have any rocks next to them, so you can stand like I'm doing the ladder or the little rocks. You can't do it. You can't do it kitty corner anymore ever since the new update where they start moving. See, he's dead. Now I can get back to the tunnel. All right. When you're solving the puzzles, you find your chest door. You open it, and a puzzle will come up. And if you get attacked, it'll cancel. So you have to do it really quickly. You have to memorize all three puzzles. So that's one. That's another one. And that's the same one. And then that's the other one. Now all of them have the same answer, just randomly. Or all of them have an answer that never changes. And it's just randomly placed. So this one. And this one. Here, what helps is to make for the, when once he attacks you, like when he attacks you, you get, and then you get more time, and you click the answer. If you miss, do it again. Okay, this is getting annoying. And you click the answer, and then it say a little thing will appear, and that means you solved it. I'll show you all the answers later. The answer to this puzzle is the L-shaped one or the backwards L-shaped one. So try to remember I re remember that one. The answer to this puzzle is the one that has the whole top half filled. So try to remember that one too. The answer to this one is the square. So this one's pretty easy actually. So to help you memorize all these puzzles, you just try to remember the L thing, the top half filled, and the square. Sure, it seems really hard, but you'll remember them after a while. So. You just try to remember which one's which. Remember, they do move around, so it's not going to be in that exact location every time. So just look for the L, or look for the square, or look for the top half filled. So after the terrors of the tunnel, or any, all the puzzle doors are all gone, you can finally enter the chest room, which is the room that's in the center of the tunnel. So you want to try to find a room with all the monsters in them, like the like the rat's room or the skeleton's room and the door that's opposite to which direction it is so like for the skeletons that are in the north you want to try to find the south door in that room so it's just like that same thing with the east the door and east room and the restroom you can look previous of uh, videos and try to find each of those rooms and look at them if you want this is the chest room um... i always attack the monster that attacks me when i enter the chest room i just do and away from to die. Now there's the chest. Right there, that's where I'll get my reward. Now in here, there is the four doors leading to the that's the north, that's the east, that's the west, and that's the south. And yeah. This is just the chest room, there's four torches. It's in the center of the three by three square with those side tunnels. Of barrels. So that's the tunnel. Memorize it. Remember the pub. Remember the puzzles, and don't be afraid of it. It's not that bad. 
Remember, use those safe spots. Like, look on this map, look at the blue spots. That blue one in the top left corner is a skeleton. That place where the big blue blotch is, and each of those tunnels have a safe spot. So if you want if you have Darok, try to head to that corner. Now, I didn't, I didn't tell you, but if you do get Darok outside of, outside of where you can get him safe, you have two choices. If you have prayer, go ahead and you dose on some prayer and kill him. But if you don't, it's the only time I, I ever actually break the rule and run away from a barrel's brother. So, but if you have prayer, like for low levels, you can just use prayer. But you can save prayer by just trying to find a hiding spot. So, yeah.